Welcome. I'd like to...
God be with you, farmer. What happened? You don't look very well. What do you want here? Who let you in? Hey, aren't you that minion of Radzig's? In a matter of speaking, sorry for barging in. Well, I don't usually talk to vagrants, but I have to lie in my bed for days and suffer like Lazarus. You want to know what happened to me? I was poisoned, that's what. God Almighty, why? Why? Because that filthy harlot feeds people pig swill and gives them pig piss instead of beer. Who? Who? The innkeeper. Mariana, that's who. I had some of her rotten beer and gruel, and now I'm afraid my guts will turn inside out. And why did you think it was her in particular? Who else would it be? Do you think I'd eat something bad at home? Young fellow, I don't eat just anything. And that stuff she brought me stank like dog shit from a mile off. So why did you eat it? Well, I was hungry. I had a few drinks and I thought it wouldn't be so bad. Huh. So it didn't smell that bad after all. Who is this Mariana anyway? Surely you must know her. She has a tavern on the green. She pulls nasty beer, cooks rotten meat, and what's more, she's a harlot who parades herself in front of men and does who knows what with them when decent folk are long gone to sleep. If she's as bad as all that, then someone should do something about her, shouldn't they? My words exactly. Do you think I didn't tell the bailiff? And what do you think he said? Have you lost your balls, Jerry? He's probably got something going with her. But while we're on the subject, boy, how would you like to earn a little extra money? There's never money enough. Supposing you find out how that slut poisoned me and bring the evidence to the bailiff. I'd pay handsomely for it, especially if you helped me get rid of these diabolical runs. All right. I'll try and figure out who poisoned you and get some medicine. Great, boy. Let's give that whore what for. I need to know a few more things for this investigation. Go ahead and ask. When exactly did it happen? Last Saturday evening. It spoiled the whole day for me Sunday. And now I'm lying here and my work is piling up. Was there someone else there with you? Of course there was. Talbot the fisherman was with me. You can ask him about it. What are the symptoms of this poisoning? You don't even want to know. If I swallow anything at all, it comes straight up again. And if it does stay with me, then I end up shit and blood. I have such a fever, my wife doesn't even have to light a fire, and, and terrible shakes as well. Horrible it is. I never felt so awful in my life. Why would Mariana want to poison you? Why? I have plenty of money. She tried it on with me, but I don't fuck around. I stick nicely to my wife, thank you very much. So she did it out of spite. What more would you expect from a female? Any idea where I might find some remedy for you? There's an old herb woman living down in the woods by the creek. She might have something. Mm -hmm. Only that old witch has no great love for me. So it would be best not to mention my name if you go and see her. That will be all. I'll get right on it then. Thanks, boy, and, and hurry up with that medicine before my life goes out my ass. Well then, what's new? Have you got the potion for me? Have you got anything on Mariana? I've got your potion. Very well, give it here. But woe betide you if I get the shit even worse. Here's the bonus for your trouble. Bye for now. See, Fisherman, I just visited Jerry, and he's really sick. Don't you know anything about it? Maybe he ate something that didn't agree with him. We go to the tavern together sometimes. So, both of you ate then? Well, uh, I don't know if we'd 
both did on that particular evening, these evenings get blurred together the way they're all the same. Try to remember. I'm trying to help Jerry. Hmm. When I think about it, uh, that, that night Jerry, Jerry fought with Mariana, I don't think I ate anything. So, how come you can't get to the end? Uh, I used to go with Jerry, but he got such a nasty dose to the shits, he can't even walk. You say Jerry and Mariana had an argument? What happened? How should I know? Something trivial. I'm not their bloody nanny. Fisherman, you won't help anyone with your secrecy. I have to sort this thing out, and for that I need to know what actually happened. Well, all right then. There was something between them. Jerry liked her. He said something to her, and, and she went mad. I don't know any more about it. I didn't hear what they said to each other. I admit I'd like to believe you, but I can't get my head around why you keep trying to convince me that someone was flirting with Jerry and he behaved like a perfect husband. That really doesn't make much sense. Shit. You're a smart one. Yeah, yeah you're right. Jerry wanted it. Wanted what? With a shagger, of course. Are you surprised? You've seen what Jerry looks like. If you weren't so cocky, maybe you'd live to see the day when the lap will be on you instead. And what then? What do you think? They, they had a row. And how was it with the food? What did you eat? Oh, what do I know? Jerry had some meat. That's odd now. Jerry told me something different. Me and my big mouth. God be with you, good sir. And with you. What do you need? I heard Farmer Jerry's giving you some trouble. Trouble? That scumbag first tried to get to me as if I'm some two-bit whore, and when I kicked him out, he made up a story that I poisoned him. Isn't it possible that by chance he got it from some food you gave him? It could happen. A person could undercook something by mistake. Excuse me? Do you think I don't know how to cook, or that I give people rotten food? So how actually was it between you and Jerry? How? No how. The old fool probably doesn't fancy what he has at home, and I don't blame him. He slapped me on the ass and made indecent proposals, strutting around like a peacock. But I doubt any woman is so desperate that she'd start anything with a tight-fisted, mangy old dog like that. What hey, did Jerry my lovely. Eat here? Anyway, don't be shy. He had nothing Come over here and show me a good time. After he slapped me on the backside again and started with his lines, I threw the gruel in his face. Jerry said he had beer and gruel. Well, he's bullshitting. We'll kick those fucking cumin's asses yet. The fisherman said Jerry had meat. Ha! <laughs> One better than the other. They can't even lie properly, the fools. Was there anything lewd about it? Jerry said you tried to. Um, we'll kick those fucking humans' asses him yet. away from his wife. <laughs> if I want that old boar to stick something into me, then my dog can speak Latin. I have a feeling from what you say that Jerry is lying through his teeth. I don't like that at Come all. Over here, sweetheart. I think I'll have don't a closer look at this, Jerry. Well, if you manage to get that pig convicted of slander, you'll have free beer here, and maybe even a grocer or two. Maybe even something more. What can I hope to do alone against the word of a rich Stop farmer? Stop gaping, yokels, or I'll give you what for. Stop gaping, yokels, or I'll give you what for. Having fun? Why wouldn't I? What do you want? Would you stop shouting? You're disturbing the guests here. You got a problem, young fella? No problem. I'm fine. Then fuck off before I kick your arse! I'm going. Just take it easy. Nothing. I'll be off then.
What's the matter with the farmer? He doesn't look well. Ugh, don't even talk to me about it. He's all done in. I never saw so much blood come out of anyone's anus before. And what in heaven happened to him? You wouldn't believe your ears. That slut at the tavern put something in his grub for revenge. Really? For what? Because he wouldn't fornicate with her. The whore. She thought she could stick her tits in his face and he wouldn't be able to resist. Why would she do that? Doesn't she know he has a wife? My husband is a wealthy, respected farmer. He could take his pick of women, but he doesn't fuck around. And he's happy with what he has at home. Love is a beautiful thing, but men will stray. All it takes is a bit too much booze. Shut up, you dog! My Jerry is a decent man. And if he did try anything like that, I'd make sure he never did it again in his life. And it would be amen for that whore, too. There was some stench, so I peeped into the larder and I saw some meat gone bad, lady. My larder is none of your business. Should I call the bailiff? Well then, what's new? Have you got the potion for me? Have you got anything on Mariana? I wanted to ask you about a couple of things. What did you say you had to eat last time at Mariana's? Gruel I had. Why do you ask? It's just that the fisherman who was there with you said you had meat. So what? Meat or gruel, what difference does it make? So he made a mistake. The two of us were drunk as lords. I was wondering what was stinking here in your hallway, farmer. I couldn't resist taking a look, and guess what I found in the larder? Rotten meat. I reckon if someone ate it, they'd have ended up just like you. So you've been snooping around my house? I pay you to help me, and instead you imply... Actually, what are you trying to imply? I'm really sorry, Jerry, but I have a feeling it definitely wasn't Mariana who poisoned you. For one thing, you said you had gruel, and the fisherman said it was meat. Mariana told me you ate nothing because she threw the gruel in your face when you tried it on with her. In the end, the fisherman admitted that you made a pass at Mariana, and she sent you packing. That's a motive for revenge. And you've got enough rotten meat in the larder to poison half of Kutenberg. And now I'm going to the bailiff to tell him everything. You, you, look here, damn it, you got me. Wait, though, to hell with the fisherman. What good would it do you? Surely we can come to an, an arrangement? Then tell me what happened. You know how it is, my wife is getting on. She's not up for it anymore, you know what I mean? And every day I'm looking at this young strumpet, so I, I tried it on, of course. Like everyone else at one time or another. Only everyone else doesn't then accuse her of trying. But I didn't want that either. It was my old woman. She sniffed out that I tried it with Mariana, and the old bag got revenge by spiking my food. Only she overdid it a bit. But I still don't know why Mariana had to suffer for it. I don't either, but you know what women are like. The missus is afraid, so she wants to get rid of her. It was her idea about accusing Mariana of poisoning me. And you went along with it. What else could I do? You've seen what she's capable of. You picked up a fine wife, without a doubt. Anyway, what do you want to do now? Supposing we just let things be. We'll forget all about what's happening and you'll be 20 groschens the richer. That's a fair offer, isn't it? Forget about it, you scumbag. People like you make me puke and I won't let you get away with it. You cur. I hired you to prove that whore poisoned me and instead you try and prove I poisoned myself? You dog! If I were lying on my deathbed, I'd break your legs. Get the, get the hell out or I'll do it anyway, you bastard.
Where's that smoke in the horizon coming from? I wish I knew. It looks like the Corbin's estate. Would you go and have a look there? Just see what's happening and then come back to me. All right. I'll let you know if I find out anything. Is there anything interesting going on here? Ah, oh, a bailiff's lot is not a happy one, you know. Everybody's problems come down on my head, and my problems on my head too. Anything else going on? I'm worried about the smoke on the horizon. You surely noticed yourself. As if there was fire around Merhoyed. Anything else going on? Farmer Jerry doesn't feel well. He probably ate something that was off. That old ass, I wouldn't mind giving him. What would you expect? It's as dead as the grave here. And a good thing, too. It's quiet, and that's the main thing. The only thing bothering me is Jerry. He ate something that was off, and now he's got the notion the innkeeper poisoned him. Could the innkeeper maybe have poisoned him by accident? Well, to tell the truth, that tavern is not exactly the kind of place you'd invite the king for dinner. And Mariana, that's the innkeeper, will do anything for a bit of easy money. But watered-down beer that gives you the shits the next day is one thing. And that nasty dose that Jerry has is another thing entirely. Anyway, I know my people, and an innkeeper is capable of anything. Who is this Jerry, and what happened to him, anyway? I don't know. Jerry's a farmer who lives across the street, beyond the village green. He got a dose of the runs, and he claims it's because the innkeeper poisoned him. I reckon, though, he drank sour milk or some such. But what's it got to do with me, anyway? Suppose I look into it and try to figure it out. And how do you propose to do that? But why am I even asking? Do what you can, lad. If you pull it off, it will be a thorn out of my side, and I'm not stingy like that Jerry, so you won't regret it. I know now what really happened with Jerry being poisoned. Really? I never expected that. What happened then? You wouldn't believe it, but it was Jerry's own wife who poisoned him. What? Well, I'll hear you out, but you better not be pulling my leg. God forbid I would jest with you. Jerry confessed to me himself, and then he tried to bribe me not to tell. That old goat thought he could impress Mariana with his estates and get it on with her. Only he got it wrong, and then as luck would have it, his wife found out. She got so mad at him that she fed him food that was off. Only she overdid it a bit and nearly killed him. And because she was like jealous and wanted to make sure nothing would happen between her? Jerry and Mariana, she tried to get rid of her by putting the blame on her. And Jerry pretended it was all true so his wife wouldn't make his life hell? Exactly. <laughs> Truth is sometimes stranger than fiction. Anyway, here's the money you were promised. I'll have to go and sort it out somehow with those idiots. What a bloody job. I heard you put a stop to that old dog's barking. It turned out, in the end, it was his own wife who poisoned him because she was jealous of you. <laughs> well, serves him right. What a pair. Thanks for everything. If it hadn't been for you, I'd probably have to move away. Here's something for your trouble. And as I promised, the beer is on me from now on. So I'll stop by sometime and we'll make merry. Indeed. You'd be surprised how good I am at merrymaking.